everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to be doing an easy, fresh, glowy face look. It's going to be like a no makeup makeup look. And a lot of the stuff that I'm using is going to be stuff that I recently got from Sephora and other places. So if you are excited to see how this easy, glowy, fresh face makeup look turns out, then go ahead and keep watching. So I got a bunch of newish stuff lately and I kind of wanted to do like a fresh face because it's a lot, a lot of it is like skincare or like light coverage or light to medium, more like no makeup makeup look if you will, um, but like not no makeup makeup look. So the first thing I'm going into is I did get, for, I did like a little Huda haul. I didn't show you guys like on camera, but I did buy a few things. I'm going in to their, this is the quench, I guess kit, I don't know. I'm going to be using the Thirst Trap Mask. I have used it a couple other times and I really, really did enjoy this mask so this is what it looks like Ooh. and then I also got some of those chin strap chin lift sculpting mask I've also used this one other time and I don't know really how I feel about it like I don't I don't know I don't know that I I didn't use it enough I feel like so the first thing that I do usually when I'm doing like a super glowy look is I do go in with a face mask because I have extremely dry skin dry and dull so I like this one because it one it does have fragrance I will tell you that for some reason the fragrance in this one just do not bother me really at all and I will tell you this mask out of like several that I've tried fits me I feel like the best around like my nose and mouth area because a lot of the times it's the nose is too big so I have to like push it up or the lip area is super super thin in between here so I'm like pulling it and making sure it's on my actual skin. So 20 minutes, oh my God. So now that I've taken it off, what I do whenever I put a mask on is I literally just rub the excess through. Don't wipe it, even use it on your neck, use it on your hands. It's so nice and hydrating like everywhere. So I just, I don't waste any of my mask at all so the next thing we're gonna go into is gonna be that thirst trap juice i was telling you about i got a small one because i wanted to try it my skin is fairly sensitive and i got it was like the wishful moisturizer or something and it really really irritated it so i did not want to get another big thing and then i hated it and this is hyaluronic acid peptide um aloe vera holy hawk rose Ooh, it might irritate my face so you can definitely tell it's rose, rose centered. Oh wow, it feels really nice though. Oh wow, it does make my face look really hydrated. I will tell you that. Ooh, oh, actually not bad. And look, my face already looks like 10 times glowier. So let that soak up. The next two things I got are from Glow Recipe. I got the Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner and then the Highlighting Serum. No, the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops ultimate glow and brightening so I got these because of TikTok <laughs> I know you guys are tired of hearing it but it is what it is if you guys do not have TikTok I do not do not encourage you to go on TikTok because I swear to you like I just spend all my money on stuff I find on there and most of the time like it really does work like it really really does so that's why I keep doing it because most of the time I'll find stuff and I'm just putting this on my hands and patting it all over my face most of the time I'll find stuff and I'm just like, I had no idea that this works so well. I have had a couple times where I'm just like, this was probably not worth the money I paid for it. And if you guys notice, I am avoiding my eye area and around here because I'm having a lot of eczema issues and I just, I don't know how the niacinamide and the um, toner are going to treat my eczema. So I don't want to put it on there. So I put that on. That's what, I think it was Glamzilla. It was Glamzilla. And then, so she put that on, she pressed it into her face, and she has really glowy skin. But the problem is, hear me out, no hate, no shade, obviously. This is an all love channel. Um, she has naturally beautiful glowy skin. Like, it doesn't matter what she does. She'll come on, she goes, I'm gonna show you how I get a natural glow. Here's my face before, and here's my face after, and it's like, 
your face was beautiful before and it's still beautiful after. I'm over here looking like a dry up desert. So I'm gonna go into the drops. She just put a couple drops on her hand and I believe this is a highlighting serum and she just put it all, oh, this one smells really good. She just put it all over her face. And again, with the niacinamides, I am going to avoid my eczema area. So I am also, if I'm turning red, please ignore that. There's nothing wrong with anything I'm using. Um, if I do wind up having like a re reaction to it, I'll let you guys know once I post this video, I always update things in the comments, but I have like very sensitive skin. So when I'm rubbing and moving on my face, that's just is what it is. Um, it's nothing against these products. I can't find my eye cream. So I'm just going into this sample that I just recently got and it is belief moisturizing eye balm and it's actually really really nice when I first went to use it I was like is this the same as the freaking moisturizer because like facts I could have just used the moisturizer but it's not like it's definitely you can feel the difference in the consistency of it so I will be ordering that so the next item that I wanted to kind of try is the new Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop blurring skin tint and I figured why not try this because it's like a no makeup makeup look and this is gonna let like my natural just dewiness shine through where a full thick foundation is not going to so I got it in a shade the shade 11 which looked lighter than what it is because I saw somebody else like it looks pretty light but when I put it on my hand earlier when I tried it I was like oh that's kind of dark but I've seen a lot of people just put it on with their hands, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to put any primer on either because I'm trying to, like, just make it, like, a quick no makeup makeup look. And I don't want to have, like, this full-blown glam situation going on. That's what we're going to do. But this is actually new. They just, Fenty just dropped this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little squeeze. I haven't applied my makeup with my fingers legitimately in forever. I did do it as, like, a little makeup challenge here on YouTube. Okay, so like, yeah, it is definitely letting my natural glowy skin come through, which I really enjoy because for a no makeup makeup look, you don't want it to look like you have a ton of makeup on. That's the point. I have seen some people say that it oxidizes. So where this looks really nice, I feel like it's gonna get kind of dark. So hopefully that's not the case. So this is with it, this is without it with it without it so it definitely covers up a lot of my imperfections but allows like that subtle glow from everything I just did to really shine through so I like that but my hand is messy now it's the one thing I don't like so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the eyebrows now I'm not really gonna do much of them because when I do this look I kind of just fluff them up and maybe fill in if it's too sparse somewhere. So the brow gel I'm using is the NYX The Brow Glue, which is a newer brow glue that they came out with. It's supposed to be compared to the ABH Brow Freeze, which I'm not the biggest fan of, so hopefully this one does a little bit better. But I'm just gonna put that through. I got this a while ago, and I think I was supposed to do like a this versus that video and I just never really did because I don't really care for the ABH brow gel it's not a fan like the brow freeze I just can't get it to do what it's supposed to do so so I go in and I'm just fluffing up the brows a little making sure they stay in place I want it to look natural if you don't want it to look natural you can always you know do the most with your brows if you want like my skin looks so good especially this foundation or skin tint I keep calling it a foundation but it's a skin tint. I really, really like it, especially for my dry skin. Like, oh. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the new ABH brow pen and just kind of like lightly, just lightly fill in some of those sparse areas. Honestly, when I'm doing like that no makeup makeup look, I really don't worry so much about my brows just because I feel like it just makes the whole look look a little bit more natural. So the next thing that I wanna go into is gonna be eyes, and it's gonna be these. I just thought these would be super cute to use. Um, these are the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadows. I just thought, I saw, I found them on TikTok, obviously, again. I saw them being reviewed and I was like, oh, I need them. But I thought that they would be so cute. Usually when I do a no makeup makeup look, I do just put a shimmer on my eye. Just because you want something to pop. But I figured these would be the cutest little things to use. 
because they're so pretty and I just love them. These were $28 a piece though, so just drop that down. These, they're tiny. Um, so if I were you guys, I would just like pick one maybe two and then go on with your life because these are like when i tell you how tiny these are this is my gimme brow most people have a gimme brow that's how big that is like that's so small oh. so i'm gonna swatch all of them for you and then i'll decide which one i'm gonna put on my eye okay so they all look like pink when i go like that so they're not all pink let me do like a little like they're duo chrome so you have infa nude dragonfly ultraviolet and then dog bean which I'm trying to really get like see how it changes colors and they look different like here they you can tell that they look different so it just kind of sucks because like the way the light is hitting they all look so similar but they're not so infra nude is like a yellow green dragonfly is an orange pink like a goldy orange pink and then ultraviolet is like that purple green snaky color and then dog bane is like a greenish orangish maybe like there's so many colors like so many dimensions of colors in these so oh my gosh and they are nice apparently because they've only been on there for a few seconds and i just had to struggle to get them off i think i'm gonna go in with the dragonfly one because we want it to stand out but we don't want it to be like Boom. Oh my god, that's gonna be boom. That looks pink. Looks hecka pink. And I'm just gonna go in, whenever I do a liquid shadow like this, I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and try to blend it out. I don't know that I like these. Mmm. I don't know. It just looks pink. Let me know if you guys are seeing a different color, but from my monitor, I'm just seeing pink. I'm not seeing a shift of color at all. And also, this is much brighter of a look that I was than I was going to go with. Like even when the girl on TikTok like reviewed these, she swatched these on her eyes and on her lips and they did like this most beautiful, I will put it here and maybe like put it over myself putting this on. But if you watch her, like they look so like colorful and like shifting, the colors were shifting and it was just very like beautiful. And this is not giving me those vibes at all like i'm getting like hot pink matte like it's like drying down so fast i'm just gonna go in with like a transition color which was not what i wanted to do and try to just like calm that down okay so i don't know it might be it's my lights maybe it's the monitor but looking here i can see the shift although it's not as awesome as the girl on tiktok showed I can definitely see that transition I don't know but that's irritating okay so these are gonna be a no for me um I think they're pretty but they're not really not really doing what I want them to do so no um and then the next new thing is gonna be the Becca cosmetic this is the under eye brightening corrector I'm gonna put it over my skin tint and I'm just gonna put a little this one is the medium to dark so it's closer to my skin tone than the light and I'm literally just going to put it over my skin tint just to brighten up without putting like concealer there. Oh my god, it looks so dewy. I love this skin tint. And I really am liking these. Like they really gave my face like, hmm, like who, who are you? You don't have dry skin. These fuckers though, they need to go. And this also, I don't really feel like it did much of anything. Just like they each brow freeze, so... I'm gonna go into the sky high lash what is it lash sensational sky high mascara from Maybelline and the reason I'm going in with this one is because it is a newer product in my collection and I wanted to kind of keep like this face situation to like new stuff because I want to show you guys like all the new things I bought plus the new things I have so the next thing I'm gonna go into is gonna be my lip balm this one is a fairly new one too this is a lip tint this is the one with butt cheeks on it from Frank Body 2021 and the end of 2020 was definitely the year of lip gloss but I have loved lip gloss more than liquid lipsticks for as long as I can remember now I don't have a new liquid highlighter that I like to use um, but this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. I've had this for quite a while, but honestly, I rarely use it unless I'm doing a no makeup makeup look. What it is, is it's just a cream highlighter. 
I don't do any blush usually and I don't do any bronzer. So anyway, so I put it all over my face in the areas I want just to stand out just a little bit more glow. Just a little bit. I don't go crazy with it. I do really, really like a cream highlighter when I'm doing something like this, especially a skin tint because it's so thin. You don't want to like power it down with a powder. All right, guys. So I did, while I was off camera, look these up to make sure like I got newer ones because I'm pretty certain maybe these are a second one because they're like they did it again kind of thing on youtube these are the newer ones and i did rewatch that tiktok video and she has dragonfly on and when she does it like it just looks like mm, it looks so good and they don't look like that on my eye <laughs> like it is pink with like a little shift of like whatever this is over here okay so i'm not $28 because this is absolutely insane okay it's absolutely insane you're paying $28 because they belong to Natasha Denona da, 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 da. okay they're not worth it uh they're small they're not as like it looks pretty it's shimmery but I've seen a lot of indie brands on Instagram and other places that make better quality chrome like multicolor, multi-shifting shadows that don't even cost you $28. So let's see, 30 times four, I paid almost $120 for these. So moving right along, the next thing, Okay, so I have to I will update you below with anything that I've had if I have an experience or a breakout or anything crazy that happens. Check the comments below always when I upload it because it's been, you know, days or whatever and I can tell you guys whether or not like this happened, this happened, whatever. As for a first impression, look at my skin. Look at my skin. Okay, that was a little dramatic. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I am obsessed with this skin tint. This is even nicer than the like, Pretty Fresh Run, the ColourPop, and I love that one. This is like, look how, I don't know if it's a combination of everything, and maybe I'll try it without that, but like maybe I won't, because my skin <laughs> looks so good. Like, I have a little texture situation going on here, but to be fair, that's my skin, that's my problem. That isn't, that isn't Fenty's problem, that's my problem. This little monster here, my problem, not Fenty's problem. I, mm, if you do not have this foundation, you need to get this foundation and I will put the price across the screen because I don't remember. I think it was like $28.50 or $29.50. It was literally the weirdest price ever. This took the show on all of the things, like 110% hands down. My skin looks so glowy, it's not even funny. So I think that this, if you put this into your fresh, glowy, no makeup, makeup look routine, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. So these two, I do like how they make my skin look glowy and dewy um, even before I put the skin tint on. But I will say one of them, one of you has betrayed me. Um, niacinamide does really kind of dry my skin out, which is so weird. I hear that a lot of people don't have that effect or, or side effect, whatever it is, but niacinamide really does tend to dry my skin out so I just have to be cautious about where I'm putting it on my face and that's all but this one is really really nice I will say combined together <laughs> my face looks good like these hands down may be my three new favorite products on earth the thirst trap juice I will be ordering in a bigger bottle I really really did enjoy this usually if I put something on my eczema area for hydration you can't really feel it hydrate it just kind of sits on top of my eczema where this really went in and penetrated it and I don't feel like I have a dry crusty skin around my mouth if that makes any sense at all but I really really did enjoy this product so I will be going and getting the bigger one obviously the hydrating mask that I use the thirst trap mask I've used them before I really do like them they are kind of pricey but I really really do enjoy them the cocoon neck thing I don't it makes me feel like it's doing something but I don't know that it really is so if you guys use those from wishful <laughs> the little chin straps let me know down below like if you have you know constantly consistently use them and seen like a big difference or is it just kind of like all up in our head kind of thing but the other stuff that I use today is stuff that I have used previously it's newer but isn't brand new compared to this other stuff now, but if you guys got any of these newer items whether it be from TikTok or just shopping, let me know down below. If you have the new Fenty eavesdrops, let me know what 
what you guys think. How is it doing with your face? Make sure you tell me your skin type so I know. And as always, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do six videos every single week, and you do not want to miss out on those. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!